Good morning. Welcome to Thursday morning's thought for today. This week, as you, uh, I'm sure, know by now, we're looking at Mark chapter six, verses seven through to thirteen. This portion of scripture where Jesus commissions and sends out these uh, disciples in their twos to the surrounding neighbourhood, to the towns and villages in the in the region. And uh, as he does so, he, he gives them the uh, power and authority over uh, evil spirits. He also tells them not to take anything with them, uh, but also reminds them that they will be looked after and to be thankful and to stay where whoever offers them hospitality to stay there. But he also doesn't say, and this is important that we, we realise this, he also doesn't say everything will be brilliant. You'll have a fantastic time. Uh, the doors will open to you. People will, will come begging you for uh, information about who Jesus is and the kingdom of God. People will want to know more and more about their Old Testament or their, their scriptures, as they call them. People will want to know more about this talk about who Jesus is and salvation. There's going to be this, this wonderful outflowing of people from every home and every town and every village you go to. That's not what Jesus said. <laughs> and yet that's what we want to hear. If we were one of the disciples, we would want to hear Jesus saying, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. There are going to be people who are going to want to know. There are going to be people who are asking you. There are going to be people who are falling over themselves. But that's not what Jesus said. In fact, Jesus says, if we read here in verse, uh, let me see, verse 11. And if any place will not receive you uh, and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust that's on your feet as a testimony against them. So there's a very real sense here that they were going to come up against it, that there was going to be opposition, that there were going to be those who, who didn't want to listen, that the doors wouldn't necessarily open. And that's something we need to think about because the disciples weren't going to get it all their own way. And Jesus warned them that this was going to happen. And so when you, when you go cold calling as a disciple of Jesus, you don't know who's behind the door. There's no indication to say to you, don't worry, your message will be received. Everything will be fine. But instead, you, do, you go out in faith and wait to see what happens. But nor are you told to force home your issue, nor are you told to have arguments on the street with these people. They're basically said, look, when your message is not received, well, if they don't listen to you, but when you leave, in other words, when it's time for you to go, shake the dust off your feet and walk away from it. OK, now this shaking off the dust, this is something like if you if you've ever been to the beach um, at the north coast or anywhere there's sand. Uh, and very often your dad would say to you, before you get in the car, bang your feet together, knock that sand off your feet. Don't be carrying it into my car. And this picture of people banging their, their shoes or their sandals or whatever to get the sand off their feet is something similar to what the disciples were told to do. There was this saying within the Jewish community that if they ever had to leave the what was called the Holy Land, go outside Palestine at that stage, whenever they were coming back into the Holy Land, they, they, were, they had to knock the dust off their feet in case they brought this unholy dust back into the Holy Land. This idea of, yes, we're, we're, we're not bringing anything that's contaminated back into the Holy Land. And th this was something that Jewish people would have known about. And so for them to see the disciples knocking the dust off their shoes would almost have been, for them, almost like the disciples were saying, you're as good as a heathen town. You're like these pagans who don't know who God is. And that speaks volume. But it also is, in a sense, a damning indictment against that town or that village if the disciples have to do that. Because there's this idea that they, they will be remembered on the last day as the, the town or the village that had uh, its dust knocked back into its, its border or territory because the disciples could not preach the message of redemption there. And so there's this picture of the disciples knocking the dust off their, their shoes. Now, what is the, the modern day equivalent to that? I'm not sure it's as obvious as that. We, we, we obviously have missions, we obviously speak to people, and very often when we speak to them and we don't get anywhere with them, we, we don't have that sense of we need to say to them, well, because you haven't listened to me, this is what I think of you. But instead, we, we take that person to the Lord and we pray for them and say, Lord, I was speaking to so-and-so today and they didn't want to listen. Would you allow your Holy Spirit to continue to speak to them? Uh, I, I've done as much as I can do. I will continue to witness to them. I will continue to show them what it is to be a Christian. I will continue to show them love. 
but I can't convince them to follow Jesus. And I, I need your Holy Spirit to do the work that you started in them to see it through to completion. And then we move on to the next person, continuing to pray for those people that we've spoken to. And, and we do pray that as people are listening to these thoughts for the day, that there will be some who have maybe heard it and don't like the sound of it. And maybe you're still thinking about coming back and every now and then you watch uh, another one of them. Uh, we, we still pray that through these thoughts for the day, People will come closer in their faith to Jesus, but also there might be some who are hearing the message for the first time. And we do pray that you wouldn't close your heart. You wouldn't stop listening. There wouldn't be that sense of us having to turn away from you. But we would love to have that conversation with you about who Jesus is and who he can be for you. So hopefully, if you're watching this morning, this rings true for you. And we would love to chat to you further. So please get in touch. Anyway, this is our thought for today that we don't want to give up on anyone. We want to keep praying for people, keep trusting that God will continue to, to work in people's hearts and bring them to that point of salvation, especially within our family circles. God bless. See you tomorrow.